Happy Saturday, you two. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Well, it's April 8th, 2023, approximately 3.30 p.m. And, you know, I'm having a great weekend, by the way. But, you know, I wanted to get on here and talk to all of you guys that are new to final expense telesales. It's easy to see a lot of people out there today posting production numbers, calling themselves gurus when it comes to the telephone. And what's crazy is that most of these people just came out of the woodwork. So if you're watching this, I hope this information really really helps you and you find some value with it. And that is, if you're new to telesales, virtual sales, and you already know you're going to have to spend for leads every week, you got it. You got to invest to buy leads. And you've already made up your mind that that's what you're going to do. So the question is, the question is, where are you going to invest that money? And while you think about that, I'm going to let one of my guys jump on here. So give me a second. All right. We're going live here on a couple feeds. But where will you place your money? You're new to telesales. You understand that you can make a bunch of money selling final expense over the telephone. So what are you going to do? $1,000 a week, where are you going to place it? Think about that for a second, guys. Because we're going to break it down for you. And hopefully, again, I hope, that this information helps you. Because that's what it comes down to. You having success. So, $1,000 a week. What are you going to do with it? There's so much things that you can do, right? Nowadays, you see people on, you know, Facebook, YouTube, and what do they advertise? How to generate leads for yourself. That's common. You got companies that specialize in this type of marketing, generating leads. You have other companies doing seminars to generate leads. Other folks are investing in doing events, working the swap meets, fairs. But there's still an investment involved with that. Give me a second. Hey, Mr. Gabriel, you logging on or what? I got my computer on again. All right, go ahead. We're waiting for you, sir. We're waiting for you. We're talking about where to invest a thousand dollars a week in your final expense business with leads. Get on. We're waiting for you. Let's go. Not it. So again, thousand dollars. Many things that you can do, direct mail, Facebook, etc. But here's the issue that I want to share with all of you. Is that when it comes to buying leads, especially if you're selling over the phone, you're going to need a lot of those leads. 
especially if you're calling them. It's way different than working in the field. For me, when I was door knocking years ago, 25, 30 leads a week for me was perfect because I would drive to the house, I would knock on the lead's house, and then secondary, I would knock on five or 10 or maybe the whole block, I would knock on their door and I would cold call the neighborhood. So 30 leads for me every single week that I purchase helped me write a bunch of personal business myself, period. But I was in the field, driving door to door. Over the telephone, you can go through 20 phone numbers within maybe two hours. In fact, my dialing speed personally is 25 phone numbers per hour. And by doing that and keeping that pace, I'm able to see five to six hours of talk time, make five to eight presentations by keeping that pace. But that's 25 numbers that I'm dialing per hour. So imagine if those 25 numbers were fresh, fresh leads that I just purchased from a Facebook vendor, direct mail, et cetera. Over the telephone, you'll go through those numbers real quick. So it's obvious that you need a lot of phone numbers to ramp up to make your presentation count, especially nowadays, where a lot of people don't pick up the phone, especially if they don't recognize who it is. Secondary, the cell phone companies, what they do is they block. They block traffic to your cell phone. So if you're cell phone carrier sees that you're getting a bunch of inbound calls, a bunch of inbound calls, what happens? They start blocking it. And that happens every single day. And I have Gabriel that just joined us. Hey, Gabriel. Happy Hey, Saturday, good afternoon. Brother. Welcome. Happy Easter week. <laughs> What's up? Hey, so I'm, I'm talking with everybody here on YouTube about, you know, if they're watching this video and, and you know, they're just starting out their career selling over the telephone and they understand that they have to pay for leads and they've realized that they got a thousand dollars a week, four thousand dollars a month for their lead budget. Where do you spend the money? <laughs> right. Do you spend a thousand dollars and maybe a million, you know, records of people between 50 and 80 is that what you do and then power dial them and deal with that drama and compliance do you buy a bunch of facebook leads let's say the facebook leads are really really good quality 25 bucks each and it thousand bucks right that's what 40 leads four times 40 leads yeah so now you got 40 numbers, Facebook leads. Let's say you're buying television leads at $75. And your budget's a thousand a week. That's 13 leads. What do you Not, do? I Maybe, would right because a lot yeah. of agents are facing this dilemma. What do we do? What do I do if my budget's a thousand dollars? And here's where I'm going with this. If you buy leads where you have to do the outbound effort, even, even if they're fresh, fresh leads. And Gabriel, you've been working inbounds. And how many times have you worked an inbound lead or you missed an inbound and within seconds, 
you called them back and they didn't pick up. How many times does that happen? Being brutally honest. Nine out of ten times. <laughs> Nine out of ten times they do not pick up the phone when you're calling them back. When you miss the call. Now imagine, ladies and gentlemen, you taking that thousand dollars, you're investing in 30, 40 leads, but over the telephone, good 50% of those people are not going to pick up the phone in those first 72 hours from the moment in time they called in. Would you say that's an exaggeration, right? Gabriel, it's not. It's not. So I found that triple dialing has worked for me a little bit better on the third. Something important that a lot of new people really need to be talking about. This is real. And there's a cost with that. So if I'm spending a thousand dollars a week and only 50% of people are actually picking up the phone. I mean, guys, it is what it is. You need more leads or else you ain't going to make it. Yeah. That's just the facts. Yeah. And it's, it can get in your head real quick. You know, if you think, you know, someone just called me and I called them back within a minute and they don't answer uh, right away because you know, for a fact that they're there, that they're looking at your call and they're just ignoring it. So what has worked for me this last couple of weeks is triple dialing on the third, triple dialing within one minute, three calls in one minute, in that same minute. Triple dialing, text messaging, a picture message, a video. We're in a virtual world. But the reality is a lot of people do not pick up the phone. And that needs to be addressed because it costs your pocketbook. If you're not prepared for that, ladies and gentlemen, it will hurt your morale, your activity, because you need to talk to a lot of people. So now let's say, okay, well, then I'll take those thousand dollars and I'll buy a bunch of old leads or just random numbers. Perfect idea, right? We have our dialing system. We're in our dialing system. We can blast. <laughs> what, 100, 200 numbers at once. Obviously, now we got to watch out for abandonment laws. And what does that mean? It means that if you're making calls using a dialing system and you're blasting thousands of random numbers, old numbers, age numbers, and it's over 33% of people that drop off, meaning your dialing system is blasting thousands of numbers. And if over 3% of those people pick up the phone and it's dead air, those are called abandonment laws. So now you got to watch out for those. So yes, in a perfect world, you can be blasting out the whole world, buying those cheap leads, that, that cheap data. But now you got to watch out for compliance. Abandonment laws. For those of you guys doing outbound that want to invest in thousands and millions of records, because the idea is I'll have more times to bat, right? I'll be able to pitch. I don't care. I love cold calling. But you got to go through so many numbers to reach the people. And when you start playing in that, you're dealing with compliance issues. And abandonment laws is the first one. Time is money, right? So now you got to watch out for the compliance issue. And no, that could be an issue. Now your cold calling skills need to be on point. <laughs> Think about it. So for all of you guys watching this, this is stuff that needs to be addressed. It's so easy for, you know, these gurus to come on here and just blast how much production they've done and, and they've been in this business, you know, four or five months, six months. But no one's talking about this issue. These, these issues for new people that are just starting out. 
especially over the telephone. I have nothing against buying old lists, following compliance, and blasting the phones. I've had a lot of success cold calling. There's a bunch of opportunity there. I've also purchased brand new leads only to discover that a major majority of them aren't going to pick up over the telephone. So then it takes me to this. Okay. Well, then let's go with live transfers, live inbound. That's the correction. That's the fix. Yeah, you're paying more money, right? But guess what? If your budget's a thousand bucks a week and you're paying, let's say, for one of our inbounds, it's 45 bucks. Those are 22 leads, 22 guaranteed conversations, right, Gabriel? 100%. Guarantee. There's no gimmicks, no BS. There's people looking for a final expense quote. So you got 22 opportunities working inbounds or live transfers. But here's another point. Before you spend that thousand bucks on the inbounds or the transfers. You don't got to worry about compliance issues with inbounds. With the transfers you do, not with the inbounds. But you got to make sure, ladies and gentlemen, that your skill set of closing is high. Because guess what? You got 22 opportunities if you're buying $1,000 worth of transfers at, at, at inbounds, I mean, from us. And if your closing skills aren't there, what do you think is going to happen to that thousand bucks? Proof. And I wanted to invite Gabriel. I know it was last minute, but I wanted to invite him because he's been with us for over a year. He's done over six figures in AP. Now, I know he's not where he wants to be at. He lives in South America and the U.S., but he's had an experience from being an employee with us to go on 1099 working commission only. He's had that experience. He's also had the experience of helping train others that were just starting out. So I wanna emphasize on something that a lot of you need to really focus on. So besides where to invest that thousand dollars, I'm not saying one is better than the other. But what I'm really trying to emphasize is what to expect, guys. Because this is fact. And that is follow-up. Last year in the month of September, I, you know, collaborated with Gabriel with a small group of agents that we we're collectively working on in developing and training. I must have dropped $15,000 in fresh leads, guys, plus transfers. But what I did is that I loaded them up with a bunch of callback leads that were fresh so they can fill in the time as they were waiting for their transfers. They were just starting. It's amazing to me to see how many people don't see the value the, the value in follow-up. They just don't. And it's unfortunate. Because out of that group, without dropping any names, I would say a good 95% of those agents that were working those leads on a free lead basis and some of them paying they wouldn't even follow up on $15,000 worth of fresh leads am I correct Gabriel in saying that I mean is it my understating the issue I mean these are the facts no we gave them first dips to call them 
let them call them, you know, so they have the opportunity, but they chose chose not to. They chose not to because they didn't see the power or the value in following up. So if you're buying leads, you're investing a thousand dollars, regardless if you're cold calling on a million records, you're calling on fresh leads that you're outbound in, that you're calling yourself on, or you're taking live transfers or inbounds. There's going to be a percentage of people that you don't close. Are you following up? And if the answer is no, you're losing so much money, it's not even funny. Because do you think those people, when they called into your advertisement, they were calling for something else? They were interested in a final expense quote. You called them once, you didn't get a hold of them, and you never called them back. It's, it's time to step up. Again, this is a lead-driven business, but at the same time, you got to be able to follow up on every single phone number that did not pick up by. And there's something I always say here with our agents, and I say your future self will thank you. And one of the things that I did, and I've always said this to my group, is I wouldn't ask you to do something I wouldn't do myself. So after the fact that I noticed that this group didn't even touch those leads, myself and Gabriel, we must have spent a month, <laughs> right? A month and a half. Over a month, yeah. A month and a half going through each and every one of those leads, period. And because they were over three months old, we needed to make sure that every single one of those leads was compliant with TCPA and DNC guidelines. And that's why I wanted to invite Gabriel on here because a lot of people, they have it twisted. You know, they're really thinking, oh, I'll do this, or, or the guru says to do that, or the guru says to do this. But at the end of the day, they're not really identifying the major issues for each one of these sources of leads for your money. Anything you want to add, Gabriel, before we wrap this up? Because I think there's just a lot of new people on phones these days, and this is stuff no. that, yeah, that definitely. they're not even I'll, thinking about. I want to add that um, you know, there's a big difference between the live transfers and a customer initiated inbound, you know, you don't have a second party involved in the transaction. It's just that customer saw you on a YouTube or Facebook ad. They themselves initiated, pick up the phone and hit call now, put the phone up to their ear and called us. You know, the intent is they're very high intent leads. You know, um, not to bash the live transfers or cold calling, you know, that, that works too. But the inbounds is a ma major game changer in this, um, in the industry. So just want to make a Bottom point of that. Line, they're calling you at the peak of their interest. We call it a peak and pass. They're watching an ad right now. They're searching whether YouTube, Facebook, et cetera. And at that moment in time, they're calling in. And when they call in, there's no one there to guide them, to transfer them to you. It's your phone's ringing. But again, to all of you guys watching, that sounds great. It sounds amazing. But it's easier said than done because it happens so fast. If you're not trained, if you don't know how to make a presentation, if you don't know how to close, guys, You'll stand there looking at yourself at the end of the day, wondering if you're meant to be in this business or not. Why? Because it's not a lead issue. <laughs> the leads are at the highest quality you can buy. What do you want? A lay down? No. You got the carrier. 
So there's no issue there. If you need a guarantee issue, you got it. It comes down to your training. Are you able to sell? Great. But are you closing? Doesn't matter how great you are at making sales presentations. If you can't close, you got no business. You won't be able to order leads again. Now what? And I emphasize that because a lot of people are thinking, oh my God, I'll have live transfers, inbounds of people want to talk to me. I'm going to make millions and millions and millions. Then they realize like a freight train, boom. <laughs> that selling is one thing, closing is the other. Yes. What do you, you have to have... Can I get an amen or what? I mean... Amen. You have to have thick skin to be in this game, you know. Um, you're going to get cursed out sometimes and put down sometimes and you just have to stay positive and just keep your head up and have thick skin. That's right. You got to have thick skin. And, and I'm always thinking like, you know, no one likes to be, you know, no one loves rejection. Right. But I always think to myself, what other business can I work from my home office, wherever I'm at in the world? You're in South America. I'm in Northern California. A business that's solid where I can sell and excel as a salesperson, build something for my family in the future. And that's the insurance business. You build something for the future by having residual income through renewals. You're able to help people with a old fashioned guarantee called life insurance that's regulated. Just think about that for a little bit. Right now, you see all the whole issues with the banks and, and people withdrawing money. Insurance don't operate that way, man. Let that they're, sink in. They're in another league. The insurance is in another <laughs> league. So for anyone watching this, I hope this information helped you guys. Look, this business ain't easy, but selling final expense isn't very difficult when you really break it down. There's a major need for it. But if you are sitting here thinking, where do I invest my thousand bucks? Consider what we shared with you today. I get on the phones every single day. Gabriel gets on the phones every day. Is it perfect? No, it's not. It's sales. You got your ups, you got your downs. But this business is about longevity and consistency. And being realistic with yourself. Don't look at your neighbor or the other agent. Look at your results. Identify where you need to improve your skills. Do you need more leads? Do you need a better carrier? Do you need the training? And I can help you with any of those three. Regardless of where you're at and who you're working with. So... With that said, my friends, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe. And for all my friends that like to drink, if you drink, do not drive. Peace.